Hi friends, welcome back to our channel Easy Learning Lab. In our in today's topic, we will cover basically we will cover TCL, that is a transactional control language. In my previous videos, we have covered DDL, DML, DCL. So in my this video, we will cover TCL, that is a tr transactional control language. Transaction control language command deals with the transaction within data. We have basically a two commands in it. That is a commit and a rollback. It's very important. These two commands are very, very important because whenever we perform a DML operations, we have to either commit it or we have to either roll back it. So it's very important to know about these commands. TCL commit. This commit. This command is used to save all the transaction to the database. Syntax is very simple. We just have to write commit semicolon and it's over. So for example, like I have just given an example like delete from student where roll number is 25. We are deleting, deleting the record which has a roll number 75 from a student table. So we fire this command, but we have not committed it. What it does, if you close this session, this whole thing will be rollback. Rollback means nothing has been done. So when you next time you log in and you can see this, stu this student whose role number 25 is already in our database. It has not been deleted. So this commit is very important. Similarly, if you are inserting a records, you have inserted 20 records and if you have not done commit and you close the session so it has not inserted anything into your table afterwards when you come to some other session you just put select star from that table you will find nothing into that table because you have not committed it generally in the environments we have auto commit but be be ready to commit it whenever it is needed Now our next command is rollback. Rollback means like if you are doing some DML operations and you want to roll back, you don't want to insert this record into a database or you don't want to perform these actions. So this command has been used. Rollback command allow you to undo transaction that have not already been saved to a database. So the syntax is very simple. Rollback semicolon delete from student value roll number 25 and by mistake you have done this and you have not committed it if you have committed it then then it's gone but you have not committed it you can put a rollback command so it will go for a previous tran transactions like i will give you an example like in a table you have five rows okay you have inserted more five rows into the table you have not inserted basically you just executed the insert commands and suddenly you find that these are already present in that table. You have by mistake inserted again. So what you have to do? You have to just put a rollback. That five values will be into that table. These new values will not be inserted. And if you make commit, then it will then then hold 10 records will be present and out of which each and every record are duplicated. So I will give you one more example. If you have two records in a table and you have inserted a third record and you put a commit so now you have in your table you have got three records again you have put one insert command insert into table name values so and so and you found that this value is not been used so what you do just roll back it roll back then again you put select star from table name you will found only three rows not four because you have done a rollback. Rollback means going to a previous state. Commit means going to a next stage. Next stage. So remember, these TCL commands are very important. If you have any questions or doubt, please mail me or commit me. Follow me in on my Instagram and my Facebook page. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Bye.